This is a cell. Wow, that's a sweet cell. Inside the nucleus is our DNA. When a gene is turned on, its DNA is transcribed into RNA. The RNA is translated into protein. Proteins are the machines that do everything in our body. They are inside the mitochondria, making energy. They are at the membrane, sending signals to other cells. Some proteins are complex and need to be made at the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, where there are special proteins called chaperones that help fold other proteins before they are sent to their final destination. So what happens during ER stress when there are too many proteins being made inside the ER? Let's imagine the cell is like a restaurant. Inside the restaurant, the owner copies recipes from a master cookbook and sends them to the chef in the kitchen. The chef takes the recipe and makes the meal. The server puts the orders together and brings them out to the dining area. The recipes the owner copies depends on the menu of the restaurant. The kitchen is like the endoplasmic reticulum, and ER stress is like a dinner rush. As more and more orders come in, the servers can't keep up, and food piles up. When the servers get overwhelmed, they might end up letting bad food or incorrect orders go out to the dining area. If the servers bring out bad food too many times, the restaurant can be shut down. Luckily, each kitchen has a manager. Managers monitor quality control in the kitchen and make sure the servers aren't falling behind or serving bad food. So during the dinner rush, when orders pile up, the manager has to find a way to fix the problem. There are two ways the manager can fix it. They can hire more servers and make the restaurant bigger, or they can reduce the number of orders coming in to let the kitchen catch up. If the manager does a good job, the restaurant doesn't have to shut down. In a cell, shutting down means the cell dies. When there are too many proteins in the ER, a protein called IRE1 is the manager that fixes the problem. IRE1 either increases chaperones in the ER to fold the proteins or decreases the RNA that is being translated into protein. We are still trying to understand why IRE1 in different cells chooses one solution over the other and how some cells even do both.